I am Angie here. Welcome to English speaking class. Guys, girls, my students. Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, today we are going to view the preposition, use of preposition in speaking. Use of preposition in speaking. And we we'll define the prepositions, a uh, word that, that shows a relation of a noun or a pronoun with another noun and a pronoun. حرفِ جار وہ الفاظ ہوتے ہیں جو ایک قسم اور اس میں ضمیر کا تعلق کسی دوسرے قسم اور اس میں ضمیر کے ساتھ ظاہر کرنے میں مدد کرتے ہیں A word that shows the relation of a noun or a pronoun with another noun or a pronoun is called a preposition Today we are discussing the preposition by By has three meanings By is a preposition and it has three meanings it is used for time, it is used for means, and it is used for place. So, by is such a preposition that is widely used in speaking, and it is used in time, and it is used when we talk about some place, some destination, and it is used for some means, means of traveling, and means of posting. So, such a way the by preposition is commonly used in speaking as well as it is taught in academic studies in schools and higher colleges. Let's start our lesson. Today's lesson is the preposition by. Use of preposition by. Let's see the first construction with the preposition by. The first you see here. By. By means time, place and means. By means, by means, by denotes time, place, and means, and it helps to show the relation of a noun with another noun or a pronoun with another pronoun. Let's see this phrase. You see here, my students. Here, by, by means time, time, or it shows the place. It shows the means. And it is used as you see here the first construction, first statement, the first sentence is here. Boys are standing by the tree. 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 This is the first sentence in which we have used the by by shows a relation between the voice and a tree. Voice are standing by the tree. Voice are standing by the tree. Larke draf ke kari khade hain. Voice are standing by the tree. Larke draf ke kari khade hain. A by means beside. By means beside. The voice are standing beside the tree. The voice are standing beside the tree and we have used beautifully the preposition by and by means here beside so boys are standing by the tree boys are standing by the tree ladke draf ke paas khade hain boys are standing by the tree ladke draf ke paas khade hain and my students you see that by is showing the relation of boys and the tree it, it shows the relation among boys and the tree so you see that if we have take the preposition by, so boys are standing by the tree. Boys are standing by the tree. Ladke drak ke paas khade hain. Here by means creep. Creep are pass. Ladke drak ke creep khade hain. Ladke drak ke paas khade hain. By means beside. Boys are standing beside the tree. Boys are standing beside the tree. So we have used by here as a preposition. It means beside, creep, ladke drak ke paas khade hain. Ladke drak ke creep khade hain. Let's see the next use of why. Here you see the next construction. Next statement is here. Adam reaches here by noon. 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 Adam yaha to pahar tak pohunta hai. Adam yaha to pahar tak pohunta hai. Adam reaches here by noon. Adam yaha to pahar tak pohunta hai. You see my students, Adam is a noun. 
and this is a verb and here shows the and here is the adjective of place and by by is connecting by showing a relation between adam and the noon noon is a noun it's it means midday noon means midday midday exactly 12 o'clock midday noon means midday exactly 12 o'clock so adam reaches here by noon adam reaches here by noon adam adam, adam yahan dopahar tak pahunchta hai adam yahan dopahar tak pahunchta hai by means till by means here till adam reaches here till noon adam reaches here till noon so we have used by preposition in this construction in this sentence so by means here by means here till adam reaches here by noon adam reaches here by noon adam dopahar tak yahan pahunchta hai adam dopahar tak yahan pahunchta hai a beautiful phrase and here the by is used as a preposition of time the by is used here as a preposition of time because noon means midday exactly 12 o'clock noon means midday exactly 12 o'clock so by is used as a preposition of time in this statement and in the very first statement we have used by as a preposition of place we have used by as a preposition of place because tree is the place where the boys are standing by the standing by the tree by the standing by the tree ladke darakht ke paas khade hain ladke darakht ke kareeb khade hain so in this first statement by is a preposition of place by is a preposition of place the statement indicates that by is used as a preposition of place in this sentence and in the very next sentence adam reaches here by noon adam reaches here by noon adam yahan dopahar tak pahunchta hai so in this sentence by used by is used as a preposition of time preposition of time let's read out the next sentence aaiye agle jumle ko padhte hain ye see the next one is they always travel by air they always travel by air they always travel by air wo hamesha jahaz se safar karte hain they always travel by air they always travel by air wo hamesha jahaz se safar karte hain they always travel by air wo hamesha jahaz se safar karte hain you see my students there is a pronoun and it shows a relation of air 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 and they there is a pronoun air by air by air means by jahaz aeroplane aeroplane so by is showing the relation between they and the airline and the aeroplane so they always travel by air they always travel by air wo hamesha hawai jahaz se safar karte hain they always travel by air wo hamesha hawai jahaz se safar karte hain air by is used as a preposition of means as a preposition of means by is used as a preposition of means a source a source or means so they always travel by air they always travel by air wo hamesha hawai jahaz se safar karte hain hey my students it's a very beautiful statement very very beautiful sentence here the by is a preposition of means they always travel by air they always travel by air wo hamesha hawai jahaz se safar karte hain let's move to the next statement aaiye agle jumle ko dekhte hain next one is hey my students next phrase is we are waiting by the zoo we are waiting by the zoo we are waiting by the zoo hum chidiya ghar ke paas intezar kar rahe hain we are waiting by the zoo we are waiting by the zoo hum chidiya ghar ke kareeb intezar kar rahe hain who is a pronoun and it's a subject here it's a plural pronoun first person category pronoun and waiting is a principal verb i is a helping verb we are waiting by the zoo so is the noun and the relation between boy pronoun and the zoo is shown by by so by is playing its role as we have to find that a word that shows the relation of a noun or pronoun with another noun or a pronoun is called a preposition preposition ko urdu mein huruf e jar kehte hain huruf e jar bol paad hote hain jo kisi ism noun प्रोनाउन आर और या इसमें जमीर के तलब को दूसरे इसम नाउन या प्रोनाउन के साथ जाहिर करते हैं जोड़ते हैं 
So this is a beautiful phrase again. We are waiting by the zoo. We are waiting by the zoo. We are waiting by the zoo. हम चिड़ियाघर के करीब इंतजार कर रहे हैं हम चिड़ियाघर के पास इंतजार कर रहे हैं अगेन यू सी दाइज यूज एज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस बाय इज यूज इन दिस स्टेटमेंट एज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस सो बाय इज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंस बाय इज यूज एज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस बिकॉज इट शोज द जू इट शोज द रिलेशन बिटवीन द जू एंड वो एट प्रोनाउन so this is a beautiful construction we are waiting by the zoo we are waiting by the zoo hum chidiya ghar ke kareeb intezar kar rahe hain hum chidiya ghar ke paas intezar kar rahe hain here by is a by is used as a preposition of place place preposition of place let's move to the next statement aaiye agle jumle ki taraf badhte hain next phrase is you see that tom gets to office by 9 i am Tom gets to office by 9 a.m. Tom gets to office by 9 a.m. Tom daftar mein 9 baje pahunchta hai. Wo Tom daftar mein 9 baje tak pahunchta hai. Tom gets to office by 9 a.m. Tom subah 9 baje daftar pahunchta hai. Tom gets to office by 9 a.m. Tom gets to office by 9 a.m. Tom subah 9 baje daftar pahunchta hai. Hey my students this is also a beautiful statement. स्टूडेंट्स गाइस गाइस ये भी एक खूबसूरत जुमला है टॉम गेट्स टू हिज ऑफिस बाय 9 एएम टॉम सुबह 9 बजे दफ्तर पहुंचता है एएम मींस मॉर्निंग टाइम एंटी मेरिडियन एंटी मेरिडियन से कहते हैं एंड एएम इज द एब्रिविएशन ऑफ एंटी मेरिडियन सो टॉम गेट्स टू ऑफिस बाय 9 एएम टॉम सुबह 9 बजे दफ्तर पहुंचता है इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्रेज यू सी दैट बाय इज यूज्ड एज अ प्रीपोजिशन ऑफ टाइम by is used here as a preposition of time again so tom gets to office by 9 am tom gets to office by 9 am tom 9 baje tak subah 9 baje daftar pahunchta hai tom subah 9 baje daftar pahunchta hai am means early morning 9 o'clock subah ka waqt and anti meridian kehte hain ise and short in short it's am so tom gets to office by 9 am let's move to the next phrase नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट देखिए अगला जुमला ये पे है बेन लव्स ट्रैवलिंग बाय ट्रेन 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 अगेन यू सी माय स्टूडेंट्स बेन इज अ नाउन एंड अ सब्जेक्ट एंड ही लव्स ट्रैवलिंग वो सफर करना पसंद करता है बाय ट्रेन ट्रेन इज अ पैसेंजर पैसेंजर राइट ट्रेन इज अ रेल पैसेंजर राइट सो बाय कनेक्ट्स द ट्रेन एंड द बैन बाय बाय शोज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन बैन एंड अ ट्रेन एंड बाय शोज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन बैन एंड अ ट्रेन एंड बाय इज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ मींस बाय इज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ मींस बाय इज अ सोर्स ऑफ मींस बाय इज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ मींस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट सो रीड इट आउट अगेन बैन लव्स ट्रैवलिंग बाय ट्रेन Ben loves traveling by train. Ben rail गाड़ी से सफर करना पसंद करता है. Ben rail गाड़ी से सफर करना पसंद करता है. Ben loves traveling by train. Ben loves traveling by train. Ben rail गाड़ी से सफर करना पसंद करता है. You see, my students, this is again a beautiful, very beautiful statement, very beautiful sentence. Ben loves traveling by train. बैन रेलगाड़ी से सफर करना पसंद करता है सो द रिलेशन बिटवीन बैन नाउन सिंगुलर नाउन एंड ट्रेन दैट्स आल्सो सिंगुलर नाउन इज शोन बाय प्रपोजिशन बाय एंड बाय इज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ मींस बाय इज अ प्रपोजिशन ऑफ मींस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट सो बैन लव्स ट्रैवलिंग बाय ट्रेन बैन लव्स ट्रैवलिंग बाय ट्रेन बैन रेलगाड़ी से सफर करना पसंद करता है हे माय स्टूडेंट्स टुडे we have beautifully we have beautifully read out and discuss the use of preposition by in speaking and we have beautiful sentences here and by is used three ways at this preposition is used as a preposition of time and as a preposition of place as well as as a preposition of means so these are beautiful statements memorize these statements and the use of by in speaking i wish you all the best keep on watching my videos 
See you again. Goodbye. Goodbye.